Yesterday afternoon, we agreed, and I say we agreed, partly against, you know, uh, the will of the people. We agreed to have a meeting 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. We agreed that we were going to be there until it took the time to find the additional $20, $20 million in savings. So it meant that if we were going to be there to midnight last night, we were prepared to do that. What I find interesting is that we said from day one, and we'll continue to say that the TUC, on behalf of the government workers, the public public service workers, public service employees, have gone to the table in good faith and with clean hands. Yesterday, when we were at the BPSU waiting for their team to show up, we got a phone call to say that you know they were working on some things and they wanted an extra half hour. I said, okay, that sounds reasonable. And then we got another phone call 10 minutes later to say they wanted it until 5 o'clock. This was my call at the phone. And I said to Ms. Miller then, I think you need to get the premier to call us back right away because 5 o'clock is, from our point of view, tell us team sitting around for two hours. We don't think that's productive. So he called us back and he says, well, Mr. Ferber, the issue that we have is that I'm trying to get my cabinet colleagues together. And what we then want is the team to come over there with certain things. I says, well, why don't you let your team come? While you're having a conversation with your cabinet colleagues, we can continue to work. And we thought that made better sense. So about 10 minutes to 5, um, Ms. Vittle called me back in and said, tell you what, if you're not here between 5 o'clock and 5.15, our team will be leaving. So at 5.14, 5 to be exact, she called to say they were on their way. Okay, no problem. So we said, we'll give, you, we'll give them to 5.30 to get to BPSU. 25 minutes to 6, they were in there, so we left. And this situation, because it's delicate, and as we said to you on the cabinet office yesterday, every solution's got to have, every problem has to have a solution. So we're going to try to find resolution. Those of you who would have listened to Let's Talk last night, where the Bureau of Trade Union Congo was represented by Brother Mike Charles. Yes, yes, yes. The the Bureau of Trade Union Congress. Brother Shannon James, the president of the BUT. Yes. Myself, and I'm calling myself before I get to the star. <laughs> myself as the vice president of the Bermuda Trade Union Congress. Yes. And their brother Jason Haley. Yes. I'm saying this to you this morning, those of you who saw the program, it's more for probably those who didn't see it. Because what was real pleasing to us was the way the night finished. And I say it again, the way the night finished. When you have a young person, a young person, call in and give us thanks for what we're doing on that behalf. That's the qualification that we need. It may be about us today, it's going to be about them tomorrow. And what she, the encouragement, she gave us, the encouragement that she gave us was to continue on fighting on their behalf. Because it's most important that we can't lose sight of why we're here today. We're here today because of our forefathers, and we can't forget that. So recognizing as a leader what my responsibility is and what their responsibility is, is trying to find resolution for you. So the Premier, um, offered an apology yesterday to us. He offered an apology to the country for them not beaten yesterday. And whilst I do understand that, you know, an apology is an apology, <laughs> the challenge that we will continue to have is that when we reach out, because he, he reached out to me first thing this morning, he called me at her, and one thing we've got to make sure that we don't leave any stand on turn. I was not prepared to have a conversation with him one on one. I don't want to say he said, I said, I'm not having that kind of conversation. So out of respect, I said to him, I'll tell you what, it's now 20 minutes to 8. Give me to 8.15, I'll be at the office and I'll call you back because I want to make sure that we have some business. 
because, you know, all this thing about, you know, the fact she won't speak up or the fact she won't take it. And all these, so you have to uh, go in the back of your mind when you're talking to these guys because you can't trust them. And for us, trust is a real issue here. So having said that, when I got here this morning, I called the Premier because, you know, yesterday we went from a very strong position to a different position. And yesterday, by them not showing up, they gave us back the position that we had before that. And that was very important to us. So, what I said to the Premier is that, and if you haven't, if you didn't hear his press statement, he was suggesting that you not come to the meeting this morning. And I got a phone call from Dolly and me this morning at 25 past 7, that the Premier is asking for you to cancel your meeting this morning at 9 o'clock. For real? So you want me to reach out to all the government workers between now 7.30 and telling them to not come to me? I asked not gonna happen. I'm not doing that. So, the mere fact that he believes that there are some issues that we can discuss at the table. I said to the Premier, and I made a crystal clear to him, sir, what I would like to be in a position this morning to do is go to the members and say to them that you've taken Friday off the table and we're not gonna have a conversation. Well, I don't know if I could do that, okay? So I said to him, I said, Let, let's, just, let's just look at something. Um, let's think about your position as government. And we recognize that our position as the government. Your position represent you. So what I said to him, what you want to be able to do, what we want to be able to do, because I put his example right back on him that he gave to us in the meeting yesterday at Cabinet Office, where we talked about coming on and meet at 3 o'clock. He says, well, okay, if I can come on and meet at 3, and all the workers come on here, you know, the atmosphere that's going to be outside, so on and so forth. I said, okay. And it's just interesting when you say things, how they come back to bite you. And I said to him this morning, the exact same thing you said yesterday applies today. You want us to go to the table while you got Friday day hanging over our head. And that to me, that to me, is not justifiable. So what you need to do is remove that threat of Friday day. Then we can sit down, come to the table in good faith and have a conversation. And unless you're prepared to do that, we're not going back to the table. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Here's where it gets real. The dread is already this morning for email. Don't come to the meeting. Come to the meeting and you'll get the doctor paid. There was no ladder given to the cabinet secretary. So, I want to apologize to the membership for yesterday. We made a huge mistake. We sent you back work and they betrayed us. We're not going to make that mistake again. If it just heard today for information purposes, you can be dismissed. Yes, sir. Say it again. If it heard today just to gather information, you can be dismissed. The meeting is now over. For all the rest of us, here is the plan. We'll go in our cabinet and we'll stand under until Friday days off the table. We will not make the mistake of sending the workers back to work to get the disrespect that we got yesterday. you have members sitting at a table from 3 o'clock to 20 to 6 after you came in front of those workers and told them go back to work so we can have a conversation. So, in the paper today it says the law is on our side. That's what the government is saying. Mr. Premier, let the games begin.
Thank you very much. Thank you for coming here today. I reached out to the president of the BIU, who's the acting as president of the BTUC, late last night, and I spoke to him early this morning to explain our position. Cabinet met for over two hours yesterday, and we believe we made some progress to move forward and have some options we want to put on the table. So let me make it very clear. While we understand your concerns, there are bigger concerns in the community that we need to make sure. Please, will not come back to the table until further the... Yeah!